your foundation stand during testing time. I look on the other side and say, Amen. Will your foundation stand during testing time? You may be seated in this house. I may realize that things look real pretty as long as there's no turbulence. My, my, my. How many realize that relationships look real good when you dress the like same t-shirt on? Oh my God, the same outfit. But how many realize that houses look beautiful and it looks like it's a wonderful thing, a shed you build? But how many realize that long as the wind haven't blew, long as there's no turbulence and no trouble that has applied in your life? How many realize that when you go through a process of something, it, it reveals what's already in there? As we get to dive in this test, I was trying to get you to get your praise on uh, before I start preaching on, because there might not be no praise in what I get through preaching. But as we get to look at this text, oh my God, in verse 21, it says, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of the Father which is in heaven. My God. So what Jesus is telling us in this text, he's saying, Jesus, empathetically, taught that carrying out the will of his heavenly father was conditional and entered into the kingdom of heaven. We have to be obedient to God, doesn't it? However, this does not mean that we can gain a merit of salvation by what we do in the church. There's a difference between church work and the work of the church. Oh uh, my God, because you're the busy bee and you do things around the church to help the church. But how many realize what the church got to be in you? You can do all these great exports and all these great things, but it's not God said it's all in vain. Oh my my. The Bible says, Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? As I'm teaching here this morning. So it goes on to tell us this is through the following reason. God's forgiveness comes to us through faith. Oh my God. And repentance made possible by the grace and the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ. The obedience to the will of God demand by Christ indeed an ongoing conditional salvation. Meaning that every day I get up, every moment of the day, I got to be in line with God. Right. Oh my God, I can't live with, with for God one day a week. Amen. Oh my God, how many realize I can't court him? He can't be a boyfriend or a girlfriend on the weekend. But I got to be married to him 24-7. Yeah. Oh my God in here. So this is the thing. We have to live so close to God. We have to be in line with God's will if we want to, get, to make it to heaven. Yes, yes. So it goes on as such was conditional. Continue prayer for you. We receive it. We put it into effect by sincere, earnest endeavors. Nor not the Lord's prayer. It's going to help us if we don't have no relationship. Right. Everybody learns it from a child. Our Father, which are in heaven, how long? How many realize that? But when it's personal, oh my God, when you know He's your Father, it's a difference. Yeah. So as we deal in here, so not everyone professionally uh, professing Christ is genuinely saved. Even the outward verbal uh, acknowledgement of his lordship in itself is not enough to save us, the unbeliever, apart from true repentance of faith. Just because you quoted the Lord's prayer, oh my mind, doesn't mean that you're saved. Many people are, are mistaken because they was at a congregation and they quoted Romans 10, 9 and 10 and they believed and they said they were saved. But understand is, they never, they quoted it, but it didn't get in them. Because when you get to new, that a change is going to be made. Yeah. Uh, can I teach you here? Yeah. Genuinely saved person is one that do the will of my father. The Greek present tense suggests that is he is continually living in obedience to the will of God as a normal call for life. How many know living for Jesus just like getting up in the morning? Right. Whoa! That somebody said the narrative is just like breathing. Oh. When I exhale and blow it out, how many know that's God's breath? Yeah. Because it was the finger of love that touches us. How many know you didn't wake yourself up? How many know somebody's alarm clock is still going on? The extra hour turn into eternity because you nobody touch you to get you up this morning. Yeah. But how I many of God breathes the breath of life on you? Every morning you go into a, a state, oh my God, of out of consciousness. Yeah. How many realize we can use the turn on it? You die every night. Yeah. But God touches you and, and wakes you up every morning. Yeah. And every morning, new mercies. God presents unto you. Yeah. How I many know you don't have to carry what he forgave you for last week and yesterday? But every day his mercies are new. 
Oh my God, and here we see here many people in this time that we're living in. The 22nd verse that many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, oh my, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonders work? My God, Jesus says, Empathetically again, he tells me, state that there will be many in the church who will minister in his name and believe that they are his servant. Yet in reality, he does not even know them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, unrepentance, unforgiveness, just going along. How many realize you're doing it because of the name that you're called? Uh, I thought they were going to get quiet that way. He does not know them. To escape the deceit of the last days. We're living in the last days. Church leaders or any disciple must be totally committed to the truth. Yeah. And the righteousness revealed in God's word. And not consider ministerial assess. Oh my God. As a standard I must be judged by. Just because your church is packed out. Don't mean you're going to heaven. You got a food program and you got an outreach program. You got all these things operating, but do you know Jesus and do we know you? Right, right. Oh my God, in here, you come to church like you somebody owe you something. I mean, your baby, you ought to be thankful you got up this morning and breathe on me. Oh my God. Oh my God, God, I'm just here today. Hallelujah, you better hope I say something. <laughs> We owe God everything. Nobody has to beg you to testify. You ought to come in here just jumping all over the place. Another day with Jesus, and I'm glad about it. And I'm talking in here. Oh, my God, in here. The praise is gone. To accept, to escape the deceit of this last day. Beloved, we're living in the last days. And it's telling us that ministerial success. Oh, my God, relationship to Christ. How many know it's different? Brother Tony, it's different than the things people come to church every Sunday and still on their way to hell. How many of them backsliding the church because you've done great things, great works, but how many of them it's a continual thing? You got to be in your beatings of God every day. Yeah. How many of them God is not impressed with your flesh? Amen. Oh my God, he don't care what you look like, he don't care the things you've done. All he want to know are you committed and faithful to God. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a commitment that you owe God. Oh my God. God wants discipleship, not membership. Can I teach you here? The 23rd verse says, and when I then will I profess unto them. Look who's writing, who's talking, Jesus. I never knew you. Oh, depart from me, ye that worketh iniquity. He's telling them the words of Christ, make it unmistakably clear that preachers may proclaim the gospel in the name of Christ. Drive out demons and perform miracles while themselves have no saving faith in Christ. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, because of the name that you're under. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to help now. Right. The scriptures teach that fervent gospel preaching and apparent zeal for the righteousness and the working of miracles can be performed in this age by the influence of the power of Satan. Yeah. Yeah. Satan has slipped in unknowingly. Oh my God, in here, he has transformed himself into the angel of light. Oh my God, he's a, he's a wolf in a sheep cloak. He dressed the poor, he looks the poor, he looks sanctified, but he's messy. He looks so steamy, he know how to act and do church. But church ain't nothing you do, but he can't live no day saved. How many know you better stop fighting for positions and titles and, and, and notoriety in here? And you better know Jesus for yourself. Because you don't want to do everything you've been doing. And he said, get away from me. I don't even know you. I never knew you. All right. You worked in iniquity. Oh, my God in here. Are we teaching y'all right in here? My God. Working miracles. Doing all those things. How many know? But the devil's behind it. Yes. Hallelujah. In here, Paul warns us that Satan himself transformed himself into an angel light. Yes. There's no great thing if a minister also be transformed into the minister of the righteousness. Yes. Paul makes it clear that mir miracles, power can be the working of Satan. God sometimes overrides Satan's activity. Oh my God, you're going to teach him here, Pastor. Are you seeing? Sometimes he'll use a hypocrite. 
to deliver the message that he won't deliver. Yeah. Ain't going to find over here. How many realize you know the old nasty word? Don't do as I do, but do as I say. How many realize well, we got to look right at you? But how many of us call and use, oh my God, a bad person? Oh, to deliver a word at the right time. Have you ever had a worldly person tell you something in the midst of what you're going through? And you said, Lord, if he can cry out in the dunk, in the rock, surely he can use somebody else. But that don't make them say. But how many of the word is for you? All right. Sometimes God uses the enemy and reverse the thing to be a blessing to you because why? Blessings come with persecution and persecution come with blessing. Yes. We're going to talk in here. I never knew you. Man, that's cold. All you've been doing. Oh, you missionaries. You preachers. Oh my God. You've been, you looked apart. You're doing the work. Nobody can get a prayer through with you. But how many realize the devil's already got you set up? All right. Hallelujah. How many know the more standard has been lowered? We're living in a day that everybody say. We're living in a time where everybody do what they want to do. And they still think they're the only way to heaven. Right. Come to church when they want to. Don't come to church when they don't want to. Oh, I pray when they want to. And don't pray when they want to. Give support when they want to and don't give support when they want to. Yeah. We're living in a time that's still on their way to heaven anyway. The devil is a liar. You better check the end of your destination. What's on your ticket? Your ticket is hell if you don't repent. Right. The Bible reads in here, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Oh my God in here. Oh my God, what can the righteous do? If we destroy the foundation, oh my God, what about the next generation? When they see you raising hell. All right. When they see you talking about everybody in church. When they see you, nobody want to come to church when you talking about everybody in church. They're doing the same thing where I'm hanging at. All right. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Bible tells me in the days of old when the people of Israel and Judah gave themselves over to wickedness and idolatry and abomination. The glory cloud of God departed the temple and never returned. We don't want to lose the power of God, the anointing of God. We don't want to use the glory of God that rests in us. Oh my God, my God in here. Now I need to lean on somebody. I know you can't touch him. But look at him and say, neighbor, I'm not for sale. Many people are selling out for a cheap thrill. Can I teach it here like I'm feeling it here? How many of lives? You silly women, laden with sin. This brother talking about he's going to take you out. Then he drives up to the limbs. <laughs> and he won't even buy you nothing off the extra value meal. He's talking about get you a happy meal. Because it comes with a talk. And you don't get it, it's silly. All right. The Bible says in the last day, silly women, laden with sin. Yeah. Ever learning and coming to the knowledge of God. I'm preaching in here by myself. If the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? What are the righteous to do when the foundation have been destroyed? We are to contend in the things we have been taught. We have to stand up and be counted. Yes, God. Oh, we have to hold fast what God has taught us. How I many of we got to hold to the word when it's not popular? You got to be saved when you got to stand all by yourself. Yeah, yeah. My God in here, we are not to conform to the ways of the world. Not let the yokes of bondage be placed again on us. We don't want to go out into the thing that God delivered us from. All right. The old Proverbs tells us when the dog is sick, woo, the dog forming up the thing that made him sick. But the dog turns back around and lick up the thing that made him sick. That's the same way when God delivers you from the things he delivered you from. You go right back running to the very thing that made you sick. Instead of thanking God, I've been delivered. Oh, God in here. How I many know the summit rebukes oh, those who cancel flight or compromise when biblical principles is at stake. Yeah. Faithful believers will take refuge in the Lord and remain committed to righteousness. Even if the moral and spiritual foundations are destroyed. In both society and the church, 
The results will be that the Lord counted this, does behold the upright. We got the little say. That's right. Oh my God, in here, I mean, realize the question is today, not what will the world do, but the Bible said, what will the righteous do? Yes. What you're going to do now when the enemies have attacked your house? All right. Oh God, in here, what are you going to do? Hallelujah, we're not waiting on the president and none of the government. All right. But what are we waiting on? We're waiting on a move of God. Yes, Lord, hallelujah, I need you, Lord, yes. in this time when sin is popular. Yes, amen. When it's time they're doing everything and calling the church. Yes, yep, God. But when it's staying, oh my God, in testing time, yeah. it looks pretty right now. It looks wonderful right now. How many know the devil paints you a beautiful picture? Yes. I feel an angel coming up in there. He said, she says in this, he said, the devil will hire you on broken promises yes. and pay you off in disappointment. Yes. He'll promise you a mansion and give you a shack in Sugar Hill. All right, all right. Oh, God. Well, you're going to find no help in here. How many know the devil is promising many things, but how many know he know he's on his way to the lake that turned with fire and brimstone? Yes. And how many know he's trying to take as many people with him? But you better get rooted in grounded in God when the storm is coming. Yes, there yes. is a storm out on the ocean yes. and it's moving your way. Yes. If you're not rooted in God, you're going to be blown away. Yes. You can't be half-hearted committed to God. You committed to everything but church. Yes. You committed to everything. Oh my God in here. Six o'clock in the morning you got to be there. You clock it in at 5.45. But you can't even make 9.45 for Sunday school. Yes. You committed to everything. Yes, God. Gave you an extra hour, you still late. All right, all right, Pastor. Oh my God, in here. Will your foundation stand when trouble is coming? Oh my God, in here. I never knew you. But look at the contrast, and I'm almost there. I look at it, verse 24. Woo, he says in this text, therefore. Meaning for this reason. Yes, God. Therefore, as he began to close this, he says, therefore means for this reason. Whosoever hearing these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Which built his house upon the sand, on the, on the rock. How I many realize that tells me as he concludes the Sermon of the Mount with a story about two men who had three things in common. Well, Each man built a house. Uh -huh. Both heard the words of Jesus. Yeah. Both encountered the violent storm. Yeah. That were the similarities in and the contrast begin. Oh, no. One of these men was wise and the other was foolish. Yeah. This noteworthy wisdom is the ability and the willingness to apply spiritual truth to live circumstances. Right. Ain't gonna find no help in here. Yeah. How many know wisdom is a great teacher? Yes, it Ooh, it's wise and knowing that I can't survive without God. All right. Oh my my. The world tells you that I'm confident in myself. Wow. And how many know what the church tells us that our confidence is in God? Yes. Because I can do nothing without God, but I can do all things through Christ. Yes. In contrast, the foolish is the inability and the unwillingness to apply spiritual truth to life's realities. How I many realize the wise man heard Jesus' word and acted on them? That is, he built a foundation on a rock. Yeah. To do so is harder and it's time consuming. Yeah. Many people don't want to work hard no more. How I many realize they're looking for a handout? Oh my, my. How I many know the wise man took some time to build? How I many know the thing that's needed? It takes some time in prayer and fasting. It takes some time in studying the word of God. If I want to be who God is calling for me to be in this last stage, I got to get out of myself. Everybody tired now. You're tired. You got up, slept nine hours and still tired. Ate your breakfast and now you're still tired. The devil is wearing you out with tiredness. But you better look at him. Be watching yeah. because the enemy has slept in 
a moment. He is deceiving you. He's telling you you ain't got to do all of that. But if it took you then, it's going to take you more so now. Because I got an educated devil that I got to fight. My God in hell. But how many realize, somebody hollering here, low budget. How many realize you're already looking for the bargain sale? How many know you can't build no house trying to be low budget? You got cheap material trying to build something. How many know it ain't gonna last? You got duct tape on some stains, you need to have some nails in. Thank you. 
foundation of a true foundation. Jesus began with the word therefore, which means this reason, on the basis of that all that he has taught, all that he's illustrated, all you've been preached to, all the message you heard, every song you've heard, to be carried to you, good God Almighty. Yeah. 